The, the part of me that is distinctive is my big bindi. And that's because I got educated into realizing what a deep cosmic meaning it has. A line is a moving dot. A circle is a moving dot. And so, in effect, the dot contains the universe. And so, I carry the dot um, to constantly remember that we are in this amazing, miraculous, generous universe. And our little dots in it and have a little role in it and we have to do our best. I also have a big nose. I, I took a pledge I wouldn't publish when I left university. I'd get out of the rat race. And it's my first publisher. She says, but nobody's connecting environment and women, except you, Vandana. You've got to write a book on this. I said, but no, but I said I wouldn't publish. No, 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 she said, you do it with us, then publishing is a subversive activity. It's part of movement building. I said, okay. I've written, I don't know, 20 books? And look, I give speeches all over the world. It's like I used to have a lock on my lips, which I had put myself. I said, I won't speak, I won't write. My mother had said, I won't cook. And now, <laughs> focusing my life on food, I speak all over and I write, you know. So, you know, life changes. And as long as you're open to the changes, you grow into directions which in your head you had decided are either futile or you can't do it. It's where the small starts to exercise its freedom that you really get big transformation and big movement. That is why Gandhi picked the spinning wheel as the symbol and means of India's independence movement. Because it's so small that it can be in the hands of every woman. And every woman becomes a freedom fighter rather than three big leaders who give speeches around the country. And I thought of the seed as small. It can be in the hands of every farmer. And farmers with their own seed, fighting for their seed freedom, are the biggest force in the world against five giants. Celebrating smallness is necessary for both freedom and democracy, as well as meeting the needs of people without destroying the planet. Usually, spiritual people um, are involved in spirituality. And then you have this category that are called activists, you know. And for a lot of people, it's a deep surprise that I act from spirituality. People have called me Durga. Durga is one aspect of the divine feminine. And I act intensely. And uh, I act in the face of really brutal and big power. And so, and I act on issues that affect everyone's lives. So that's the compliment they give me. But all the forms of Shakti to me are so important. All the forms of Shakti, of the feminine divine, of the universal energy as the divine feminine. I work a lot to keep the e ego very limited. We know we need climate action. I want to do more for the world. But for me, a speech in Copenhagen and saving a seed on this farm that can resi resist climate change is of the same scale, quality, and in terms of impact, the same kind of impact. And in an ecological world, everything's in evolution. Quantum world, everything's in potential. And that means every moment you have a role in terms of which potential you evolve towards. You can do it mindlessly, thoughtlessly, with ego, or you can, at every step, cultivate the humility, cultivate the giving, cultivate a sense, a constant sense of what next? You know?